Pro Football Hall of Fame running back Steve Van Buren passed away on Thursday. The legendary runner not only introduced winning ways to the Philadelphia Eagles, but starred during an era in which he raised the profile of the NFL across this country. One of eight foreign-born Hall of Famers, Steve was born in Honduras, but orphaned at a young age. He was raised by his grandparents in New Orleans. His dream of playing football was nearly derailed when he was discouraged from playing by his coach, who claimed Steve was too small for the game. He persevered and earned a chance to play at LSU. Then in 1944, the Eagles used the fifth overall pick of that year's first round on Van Buren. The fortunes of the franchise changed immediately. Prior to Van Buren's arrival in the city of brotherly love, the Eagles had never posted a winning record or finished any higher than fourth place in their division. Van Buren's leadership combined with his outstanding running helped the Eagles to an impressive 7-2-1 record during his rookie season in 44. Winning continued from there as Philadelphia kept pace in a competitive Eastern Division. It all came together for the Eagles in 1947 as they won the first of three straight division crowns. The Eagles then dominated at the end of the decade with impressive back-to-back -back championships in 1948 and 49. Both wins came by shutout victories and with impressive performances by Van Buren. He nearly missed getting to the 48 title game when a blizzard hit Philadelphia. Fortunately, he found his way to the stadium, and then, early in the fourth quarter, he rammed his way over the goal line through heavy snow to score the game's only touchdown as the Eagles won 7-0. A year later, he ignored the muddy conditions of the LA Coliseum as he gained a championship game record 196 yards rushing, and the Eagles downed the favored Rams 14-0. Van Buren was without a doubt the game's top runner of his era. In 1947, he became just the second runner in league history to gain 1,000 yards. He eclipsed that mark again in 49 to become the first ever to have multiple 1,000-yard seasons. A legend of his day, Steve won four rushing titles and retired as the game's all-time leading rusher. Van Buren has been forever etched into the history of the game with his election in 1965 to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Steve Van Buren was 91.